Every 700 to 1400 years, something beyond imagination happens in the universe. It is the return of the Avatar. Whether he is called the highest of the high, the master of masters, the supreme lover, or the matchless beloved, whether he is known as the Redeemer, the Messiah, the Prophet, or the Avatar, he is always the same Infinite One, even when he comes in human form in certain ages. Mayor Baba disclosed that history records some of his past advents on Earth as Zoroaster, Abraham, Krishna, Buddha, Jesus, and the Prophet Muhammad. Now he states he is here again as Meher Baba. At first only a few know who he is, but eventually the whole world comes to realize that something beyond imagination happened in the world. The Avatar has returned. no creature which is not destined for the supreme goal, as there is no river that is not winding its way to the sea. Today I bow down to these poor from Aragon. They are very poor, but they have great love for me. I have sent them word to obey me today. Let me serve and worship them in my own way. By loving and serving the least of mine, you are loving and serving me. When you see me washing their feet, Who rise 
and sinners who fall through all the various paths that give the divine call. I am approachable enough to saint whom I adore and to sinners whom I am for, and equally through Sufism, Vedantism, Christianity, or Zoroastrianism, and Buddhism, and other isms of any kind, and also directly through no medium of ism at all. The whole of life is like playing a game of hide and seek, in which you must find your real self. I enjoy games, chiefly cricket, playing marbles, flying kites, and also listening to music. I am a child whose playground is the universe. All beings and things are my toys in my divine game. Compared to my being and power, all are inanimate toys. But they are toys which I inspire with my life-giving love. All are equally me, and I reside in each, always. Be brave, be happy. I and you are all one, and the infinite that eternally belongs to me will one day belong to every individual. If you think I am this body, you have yet to see me as I really am. I am never silent. I speak eternally. The voice that is heard deep within the soul is my voice. The voice of inspiration, of intuition, of guidance. Through those who are receptive to this voice, I speak. My outward silence is no spiritual exercise. It has been undertaken and maintained solely for the good of others. I perform no miracles and will perform none until I manifest on breaking my silence. Then I will perform the one miracle whose greatness and glory you cannot even imagine. I am not limited by this form. I use it like a garment to make myself visible to you and I communicate with you. Don't try to understand me. My depth is unfathomable. Just love me. I eternally enjoy the Christ state of consciousness. And when I speak, I shall manifest my true self, besides giving a gentle push to the whole world. I shall lead all those who come to me toward light and truth. The word I shall speak will go to the world as from God, not as from a philosopher. It will go straight to its heart. I and those who accompany me on a bus trip keep moving night and day for weeks at a time, without regular meals, and only rarely doing rest for a night. I love these lovers of God. They are so blissfully indifferent to their bodily needs. Must some God-intoxicated souls they see me and know me as none of you do. When the internal eye is opened, God, who is the object of search and longing, is actually sighted. Musts and saints of the higher planes are completely desireless and immersed in the joy of God intoxication. Since their only concern is God, they become recipients of the unique happiness which is characteristic of the God state. Owing to the exuberance of the uncontrollable joy in their inward contact with the Divine Beloved, they are utterly heedless of worldly standards or values. The must Azim Baba said, 
You are Allah. You brought forth the creation, and once in a thousand years, you come down to see the play of what you have created. I am the Lord of love, and the slave of those who really love me. The state of this perfect lover of God is indescribable. Their hearts directly experience the inner truths beyond the gross fear. An initiate pilgrim upon meeting Baba cried, Here no one knows you. I have seen you and recognized you as the true avatar of Vishnu. Pray you remember me also. God cannot be explained, but if I should wish it, in a split second you would see God and you would know. He told Baba's disciple, Tell Baba to bless me. I'm just an ordinary saint. He's a big son, and I'm just a flame. Tell him to bless me. God realization is the very goal of all creation. All earthly pleasure, howsoever great, is but a fleeting shadow of the eternal bliss of God realization. All mundane knowledge, howsoever comprehensive, is but a distorted reflection of the absolute truth of God realization. All human might, howsoever imposing, is but a fragment of the absolute power of God realization. My existence is for this love and truth. And to suffering humanity, I say, have hope. I have come to help you in winning the one victory of all victories. To win yourself.